Hey guys, once again, welcome to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Webbull desktop app step by step. So let's get started. So guys, let's get started right away with the app. So first of all, what you'll have to do before actually using the Webbull app is uh, you make you need to make sure that you're not only signed in, but you have submitted a, a request for a brokerage account and that your request has been accepted and that you can sign in and that your account is actually open. So once that you open uh, your Webbull desktop application, you'll see on the left uh, all the menus starting from watch list, stocks, uh, market overviews, stock screeners, custom uh, uh, customizations, account, paper trading, which is uh, just for fun and just for you to practice trading without the actual uh, risk of losing any money, the options trader, and so on and so on. But we're going to start first of all with the watch list and how to create your own actual uh, uh, watch list. So first of all, uh, what you're going to do is you can click on this add widgets. So here you can see uh, that you can create and add the widgets that you'll need. Um, so depending on what you actually need uh, here in the watch list. And of course, what I always uh, recommend is going pretty simple for, for this for this thing. And you can add the quotes. As you can see, you can add uh, key statistics, of course, also. And those are the things that you will need. So maybe in time and sales, that's that would be about it. What is needed for uh, uh, these watch lists and the widgets that you'll need for all the metrics that you need for uh, uh, for uh, following your own own stocks. Of course, you can add and create uh, your own watch list. And yeah, that will be pretty easy to do so that you can uh, keep track of all the the, the stocks that uh, you you have or that you follow that you want to trade in. So yeah, uh, next on, uh, let's go ahead over to the stocks page. So it's the second one down in the list here. And from here, you can see a lot of information. Uh, you can see uh, the chart open here, uh, some stock info uh, here and the ratio of the company and the trading price uh, and so on and so on. So starting at the top here in the upper left corner, you have this chart open, uh, but this can be changed. So pretty much anything you want to see up there, you can see. So yeah, of course you can, you have the chart, you can go to the options, you can go to the notes where you can add specific notes on uh, the deals, you have news, you have financials, analysis, order flow, you have corp action, and so on and so on. So there's a lot of things that you can actually do to uh, customize this chart. But before getting too deep into this, let's first look at the time frame. So we're looking currently, we got here a one minute chart pulled up and you can see it's currently got highlighted down here below. So this is it. Uh, it's, uh, what that means is that each one of these green and red candles you see on the chart represent one minute of trading. So if you want to switch the aggregation period to maybe, oh, uh, let's say five minutes. So then we click on the five minutes. Now each of these green and red candles represent five minutes of trading. So if you were to click one hour, um, of course, these candlesticks now represent an hour uh, each so candle represents a uh, you can go with days and so on of so on so on. let's go back now to the one minute for a second you can currently see on this chart the after hours has gotten like uh, um, so when you see let's let's go with this so this bluish color so for the after hours the chart will be shaded uh, uh, a darker blue and for the regular market session it has more of a black background so it could also zoom in by using just the scroll wheel on your mouse and you can zoom out. Of course, you can drag it right and uh, left. 
so the current time period Webull also offers a few different studies that you could also add those up here and the top you could edit those but for right now you can see things like the moving averages uh, 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 the Boilingers, the bands, the Web, and volume. If you wanted to edit those, we could simply just click on um, edit over here and uh, just play around with the chart settings and edit them some more. So the setting menu is also where you could change the settings for each one of these moving averages or everything else. So if you wanted to change that right now, you can see I don't have to moving the average selected, but you can see I have the length slightly updated. My first length is 50 seconds and then uh, um, the second is 200, which means that this is a 50 period moving average. So this is the 200 period moving average. And now we won't get too deep into this, but you can customize all of these settings in here. So I'll probably save this for, for some other time. But yeah, let's go on. What you can also do is access drawing tools on here. So the draw trend lines, if you wanted to access that, we'll simply just click on this pencil right here. So the, that will open uh, uh, the drawing menu in the upper uh, left hand corner. From there, you can see your drawing tools available to you now. <laughs> Only one we're going to go over today is actually the trend line. Go over today is the trend line because it's the only one I think you're going to be using on a daily basis. So we'll go ahead and just click on that. And from there, you have the ability to create your two anchor points. So let's go with this and like that. And you can create your two anchor points like this. Just draw a line, click again, and you've got a trend line on your chart. Now to delete that, we have to go ahead and click on it and just click on the delete button and you will just delete your trending line. So moving on uh, from the chart here in the right corner, uh, in the upper right corner, you can now see uh, some more information about the company we're looking at. So currently we're looking at Tesla stock and you can see it is rated 147.05, currently has a trailing uh, 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 a trailing period so it's on a weekly low so it opened low and it the high is currently at 150 and yeah of course we can see that information right here and right below down you can see some uh, 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 information uh, on and ways different ways to buy and sell so you can sell limited or you can sell market you can just choose the quantity and time, use uh, select the time and force and just buy that. You can also use a limit sale and uh, uh, put on a limited price and asking price and wait until the price is right for the sell to go to through. So you can use GTC, of course, and exit hours, click to yes, and then go to buy, of course, go to sell, sorry. And of course, that's the same thing with buying. You can add a limited order or just go with the market order that is right now for this specific stock. So what GTC actually means is good till canceled and it has a period of 60 days. So if uh, uh, the stock doesn't hit your asking price, then it will be canceled. If it does, it will automatically go through. And with the day you have 24 hours or till the market closes for your trade to go through. So that's what that means. So next on, let's go to markets. And just to show you uh, all the options you have here, you have the index chart for specific markets. You have Dow Jones, SP 500, NASDAQ. You can choose Shenzhen and Shanghai also. And you can see here the index. You can see how the different currencies uh, uh, are currently trading. Uh, here you have some news. Of course, you have the top uh, uh, top stocks in different mm, mm, markets. So here you have uh, uh, I selected the Shenzhen market, and here you can see the new top gainers. You can see the top losers. You can see active. You can see by volume, by turnover, and by range. You can see the top options right here with the volumes, the volume ratio, the total positions, 
the last prices and the average changes. Of course, you have the 52 week highs, near highs, new lows and popular stocks on uh, these uh, uh, markets. Here you have the calendar with the dividends, the splits, the economy data and so on and so on. And you have the heat map, which is also really interesting and gives you input in all the different uh, industries and how they how they go currently on the market and where it is safe to invest where uh, does the stocks grow so you have a one day chart a five day chart a one month chart and a three months chart where you can check uh, all these amenities so guys that will be it for today's video if you have any prior experience with using the web bull app then please write your experience down in the comments below for everyone to learn from it and if you thought this video was helpful in any way then please click the like and subscribe button and till the next video bye